Hi everybody, this is Rosie, and welcome to another episode of um, procrastinating on the other video that I'm making. <laughs> and I'm realizing now this is gonna be the second comics video on my channel focused almost entirely on Magneto, but I clearly have a favorite character, I clearly have a character that I favor over all the other ones, and it just how happens to be him. So if I, if I were to redesign Magneto, to cater to my taste, <laughs> I would definitely go with the original design, the classic Magneto design. So how do we make that, how do we make that attractive? How do we make that appealing to a person like me who is very dumb? My goal today is to take you through the process. This is my first time drawing for a camera in real time. I really prefer not to show my process because my process is very bad and not professional at all. <laughs> I am a I am a self-taught artist and to be honest, I, I am a poor teacher. I have not taught myself very well. Focus studies take a lot out of me. So most of the work I do when I do get around to doing it is very self-indulgent, very <laughs> same over and over again. So maybe making videos like this will actually be helpful to helping me improve a little bit more. I hope you guys can bear with me. I hope you, you enjoy what I'm going to put out today. And let's see if we can have a little bit of fun with it. I have poor spatial awareness. So when I draw, when I draw, I tend to start out really small and just make it big, make my sketch big for later. Not really the head shape that I want for Magneto. He has a he has a harder jaw. Tough looking guy that he is. But this is what we have right now and this is what we're going to work with for a little bit. Just sketching out the regular um just the shape of him, getting an idea of where I want his arms to be, where I want his legs to be. My grip on anatomy is what I would call tenuous at best. I use a lot of references. Right now I'm looking at my, at my computer screen while I'm drawing on my iPad. And I'm just, um, I have a lot of references that I pre-picked out ahead of time. So this is not something that, that just magically comes from my brain. I need a little bit of help. Sometimes it comes easier than others. Sometimes you just have an idea in your head already of what you want to do. And sometimes you really got to seek out the inspiration. All right, so sexy, sexy Magneto. What, what do we think when we think about sexy Magneto? All right. So now we get to actually putting some features on this guy. Lately I've been having such a hard time drawing eyes. I don't know what it is. I've just, I've lost any skill that I had when I was younger when it comes to drawing eyes. Oh, please don't feel like you have to give me um, tips or anything on how to draw. Okay, I'm gonna teach you- I'm gonna teach you how to draw Magneto sexy, okay? Here's what you gotta do. You make this line, and then you make this line down here, and then you make this line, and you subtly make a little line down here, and then you get right under his eye, and you make a very light line right there. Very light line right there. Boom. Sexiest man I've ever seen. <laughs> So we want to put a, we want to put a nice little smile on his face. Oh, his mouth is way too low. His head might be way too big, actually. See? Happy, happy, happy little smile.
So hair, what what's sexy about hair? Personally, I like Magneto very clean cut. I like him like with sort of a um, very close to his head hair, like he had in Uncanny X Men. He had that kind of um, trimmed hair look that I really enjoy. But this is supposed to be just a flowing, sexy, beautiful Magneto, and most of the women in comics that are classified as just sexy have this beautiful, beautiful long hair. See, but if I draw, I draw, if I draw hair that's too long on him, he's just Joseph. So I'm gonna. Mm, here's what I'll do. Here's what I'll do. Okay, we're gonna draw hair, nice hair on him, nice beautiful flowing hair. So what's sexier than just flowing hair? Flowing hair with a little bit, just a little bit of a bun, okay? So here we have half his head. Half his head is flowing hair. Half his head is bun. <laughs> oh god, this is already, this is already a bad idea. I don't even know if I'll post this. I'll, I don't even know if I'll post this. Uh, are you guys watching this right now? Let me know in the comments. Did I post this? <laughs> do I want to give him a man bun? What What do you think? This is why I should have done this on Twitch, because then I could ask you guys, like, what the hell I should be doing. <laughs> but I'm, I'm just going to go with my gut here and say that a bun is not quite as sexy as I want it to be. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna give him a pony. We're gonna give him a little ponytail. Is my mic picking up when I'm whispering? I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't whisper. Mm, all right. So Magneto's classic costume. If you happen to not remember what it looks like, it has um has a bit of a collar on it. I'm pulling it up right now on, on my uh, on my screen so I can see. It has a bit of a collar with some metal studs on it. So by that description, I'm going to create something that looks like a collar with met metal studs on it that looks nothing like his original one. <laughs> All right, so we're. Uh, that thing on his chest, it just looks very heavy, and we want him to be light. He doesn't have a need for that armor, right? Like, we hear we hear that She-Hulk and all those characters, their body is their armor. They're, they're super-powered, okay? They don't, need, they don't need anything except their bare skin to protect them. So Magneto, Magneto is, is like that, too. He doesn't need anything to protect them. He just needs his his rocking body <laughs> to protect him. <laughs> I draw, I love, 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 love drawing muscles. Now, am I good at it? No. <laughs> Do I enjoy doing it? Yes. All right. I feel like I should say that I have a lot of respect for Magneto as a character. I have a lot because, oh my god. I really should have picked somebody else to do this to. I think that he is a very strong character. I think that he, he has seen some of the best development of any character in the Marvel Universe. And I have a lot of respect for him as a character. And I don't want this to come off as if I am... um making fun of him in any way. I just happen to find him the most attractive out of a, uh, a lot of Marvel characters and, and this, oh my god. <laughs> Alright, so one of the most iconic characteristics of this outfit is the little shorts that he wears. He wears little cute shorts. I love them. And I want to include that somehow. But the idea that I had is, what if instead of shorts... Oh my gosh, what, what am I doing? Alright, so how, how do you draw a garter belt? Okay, it start starts right at the waist. And, and where does the waist start on this image? 
Exactly. Can you imagine by some freaking miracle somebody at Marvel ends up hiring me? God bless them. And then people are online looking at my work, seeing what kind of stuff I do, really just wanting to support me. And then they find this video. <laughs> I'm so glad my mom's not home because if I had to explain what I'm doing right now, <laughs> I wouldn't know where to start. God, I get to get- I hate to get all Rob Liefeld on you, but do I have to draw his feet? Are you guys gonna be mad at me if I don't? <laughs> Wait, that sounded so rude. Like, <laughs> you know that tweet? That's when you go to Sonic and the lady's like, what are we gonna do if we put pickles in it? Be mad at it? <laughs> That's exactly what I sounded like. That's what Rob Lightfield says to his editor. What are you gonna do if I don't draw the feet? Be mad at me? <laughs> See, this has started off as a joke, but I'm actually kind of into it now. Like, I, I actually kind of like this. Like, if I were designing a character... Oh my god, I designed myself um, I, a spider Sona back when, um, back when Spider-Verse came out. And I actually designed it to have garter belts. Oh my god. Oh my god. Am I... Am I predictable? <laughs> do I just know how to do this? Like, this is it? This is... Oh my god, this is like my exact spider soda. You know what? I'm not thinking about it. <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> I love him. Like, I'm actually into it. I'm into it. Oh my god, you know what I saw the other day on Twitter that I'm gonna use right here? Okay, so there was a girl, and she had she had something like this. And then she had a little bit of just, like, like just a little bit of thigh. Oh my god, I don't think that's how you do it. Hold on. Hold on. We gotta get this perfect. It has to be just the right amount of just thickness popping out of that garter, okay? Okay, are you guys with me? Are you following along? Are you guys on your iPads also drawing Sexy Magneto? You better be. This is this is an instructional video. I can't be the only one drawing Sexy Magneto. Okay, see, no. I do the curve too high. When you want something to have a sense of weight, you really gotta... <laughs> <laughs> Yes! 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 I love that! Yes! Oh my god, yes! I'm not gonna draw the hands too crazy. I just- I don't want to. This is supposed to be fun. You guys want me to have fun? Yes? <laughs> don't actually follow along with this, you will not learn anything, okay? Trust me. See, that looks slightly better, and that was just from looking at my fist from like a weird angle. Like, use, use reference, kids, even if it looks- oh my god, this looks like a bunch of like taffy snakes or something. <laughs> He looks great. He looks great. I don't know what you guys are talking about. I don't know why you guys were so were so unsure about this. This is perfect. Oh, oh my god, he has a helmet. What like what's wrong with me? <laughs> Alright, so a helmet. Ooh, 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 hold on. Hold on. I'm onto something. I'm onto something. She has a half helmet. And guess what I have? The artistic prowess to give Magneto 
a half helmet. Oh my god, he has a ponytail and a half helmet? He literally is just Gene. He's Gene from X-Men the Animated Series. <laughs> Do we love this or what? Like, am I a genius or what? Like, come on. Come on. This is so uneven. Oof. 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 This is Inhumans versus X-Men conflict levels of uneven. <laughs> I got jokes. I make jokes. Okay? Do you think I could get Chris Claremont to sign this? Like, if I met him once this COVID stuff is over? Do you think he would sign this? I think he would sign this. Oh my god. Oh my god. What the hell was I thinking? Genius thoughts. Genius thoughts is what I was thinking. So this is Magneto. <laughs> And I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna put some color on him and then give you a better look at that, okay? Alright, so I threw some quick colors on it off screen. I didn't want you guys to have to sit through me bucket filling this one. And here is the final product in all its glory. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching my videos, for subscribing to my channel, for liking my videos. It means more than you can imagine. Like, I've been slacking on my uploads later, lately just because life has been getting in the way. And I don't believe 100% that I can keep to the Friday upload schedule like I wanted to. But making videos for YouTube has been a, a, an almost entirely positive experience for me. And I'm really grateful um, to those of you that stick around and really support me on this. Love you guys. See you next time. This is Rosie, signing off.